waste of about 20 people here. Apparently it's the last connection that's basically being had through here with Banjo Patterson's Jolly Swagman. Kainuna was first established on the Diamantina River and was gazetted as a town in 1894. It is home to the Blue Hiller Hotel, which truly sits at the heart of Australian folklore. It was here that Banjo Patterson, a Sydney lawyer, brokered a truce with the Shearers, who had burnt the Dagworth Woolshed and 143 Jumbucks. The Battle of Dagworth was to be the last armed conflict between Australians. It was here that they decided that rather than shoot each other in civil war, they would have a drink together. They sang a song they all understood, and they went back to work. Both Swagman and Squatter sank their last drinks at the bar. The McPherson family owned the Dagworth station in the 1890s and early 1900s. Samuel Hofmeister, who was implicated in these events, was later found dead at a nearby billabong. The following year, Banjo Patterson visited the station and wrote the lyrics to Waltzing Matilda, said to have been inspired by these incidents. The music for the song was arranged by Christina McPherson, the daughter of the owner of Dagworth, and sister of the manager of the property, Robert McPherson. The life saving chair for the Surf Life Saving Club out of here. Built in 1889 as the Kainuna Hotel, it used to be one of three hotels in town. Now the Blue Hiller Hotel is the only hotel in Kainuna and is the only remaining building to have any association with the great Australian folk song, Waltzing Matilda. It's said that the swagman and squatter had their last drinks at the hotel, and Joe Patterson also apparently drank at the hotel. We're approaching the Combo Billabong Conversation Conservation Park, or the Combo Waterhole Conservation Park. And this is supposedly the waterhole of the Billabong that uh, the swagman died in. Kingley Shires and it's two miles to the Combo Waterhole which was the original Covert Co mail change and it's also the scene of Waltzing Matilda uh, of Banjo Patterson. Meanwhile straight ahead the stock route. 
you can drive along, but which we're not going to. Meanwhile, onto the combo waterhole. Two miles, three and a half kilometres. Combo Waterhole is a waterhole or billabong on the Diamantina River at Kainuna in Queensland, Australia. The song Waltzing Matilda is believed to be based on a real incident that happened here in the 1890s. It is also noted for historic stone pitched overshot weirs or causeways built by Chinese labourers in 1883. Combo Waterhole lies on the northern rim of a roughly circular zone measuring some 130 kilometres across that has been identified by Geoscience Australia as a crustal anomaly. It is believed likely that the anomaly was caused by an asteroid strike that happened about 300 million years ago. It's just over a kilometre long, about 1.3 kilometres, and this is the can down here. It's the billabong. A few kangaroos drinking here, but just bounded out of the place. But there it is, pretty dry at the moment. Very dry, in fact. And if we don't get any rain in the summer, it'll dry up completely, I'd suggest. We're currently in the middle of the Diamantina River system. This looks pretty flat, but when she overflows, this will be all on the water. And these trees are the Coolabar trees. Pretty ugly looking things, but I live out here, that's the main thing. Well that's a 2.6 kilometre return walk and yeah there's history there and I suppose to complete what I'm doing I needed to do it but in this temperature, October, no I do, certainly wouldn't do it again temperature's sort of buzzing somewhere around 40 it's 10 to 3 in the afternoon so it's the hottest part of the day really when it's all boiled down I wish I'd stayed closer to this billabong. If you enjoyed this video, there's over 200 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you weren't that impressed, please don't hit the dislike button. Instead, tell us why so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.